hello friends welcome back to the channel so in our previous video we have seen that how we can create a black and white image from the color image using the OpenCV library and in this video we are going to see that how we can create a HSV image using the OpenCV okay so we'll talk in details about what is HSV image and how we can create a HSV image using the OpenCV so we'll see the code and after that we'll also discuss about where exactly this HSV image is useful in any machine learning computer vision project okay so before starting this video if you are new on this channel then please subscribe to the channel hit on the bell icon so you will get the notification whenever I create a new and interesting video on machine learning so now let's start with our today's topic create HSV image using OpenCV okay so here you can see on the screen that I have added one image which shows the difference between the RGB and the HSV image okay so whenever you are considering any image into the RGB color coding it means each pixel has a three values which represents the red green and blue color okay and similar way in the HSV color model image each pixel is represented with the three values like a hue saturation and value okay so hue represents the angle this is the saturation of a color and this value represents the intensity of that color okay so this way HSV color model works and when we convert any RGB image into the HSV image then it each pixel value is getting converted into the hue saturation and value format that is why we call this color model as a HSV okay so now let's see that how we can convert this RGB or GBR color model image into the HSV color model image okay and after that we'll see why we are converting this RGB or BGR image into the HSV image okay so let me just quickly rush through the code so in our previous video we have seen the most of the code so I will be quickly rushing through it and I'll just focus on the code where we are converting our color image into the HSV image okay so here you can see that I am importing the packages so here you can see that I am importing OpenCV package and NumPy package so let me just import it and here we are trying to access my laptop's camera so I have just used the OpenCV's video capture and passing 0 so it will access my primary camera on this system okay and whatever video feeds I am getting I am storing in this capture object and after that once we have captured the video from laptop's camera I am going to iterate through the each frame inside of that video okay so here we have written a code to process the each frame so here we are reading the each frame from the, our video capture and here we are getting the frame okay so this frame is nothing but the one image from our video it is now in form of the numpy array okay so where each pixel detail is stored with the, its color details and here simply I am printing this frame okay so it is just to show you that so what is the original frame and what is the HSV converted frame okay so I'll explain it more when we run this program okay and here you can see that we are writing the actual code to convert our BGR image into the HSV image okay so I'm using open CV's CVT color method and to the CVT color method we have to pass the two inputs one is the our original image and second one is the what kind of conversion we want to do on that image or a frame okay so here I'm passing that CV2 dot color BGR to HSV okay so it means we are telling this CVT color method convert this image color from BGR that is a blue green red to the HSV that is the hue saturation value model okay and whatever the conversion we are getting we are storing into this HSV variable okay so this is also one numpy array where we have each pixel value in form of the hue saturation value and now I'm going to print this HSV image okay so here you can see that I'm printing this original image over here and whatever the after conversion we are getting the HSV image that I'm printing over here with a window name HSV and here this is our code to just break this while loop and here we are doing the resource deallocation we are releasing our video capture instance and here we are destroying the all windows of OpenCV which we have opened through this CV2 image show method okay now let me just quickly run this code so you will get the more and better idea on this so let me just press shift enter okay so here you can see that our program is running so let me just keep this windows bit aside so I'm just pit putting HSV window over here and on left hand side I'm putting the original window okay so on left hand side you can see that so this is the original content which we are accessing to the laptops camera and it is in the BGR format and on right hand side you can see the frame name is HSV and this is the our HSV hue saturation view converted image 
Okay, so on this HSV image, you can see that there are the different color shades are encoded into the some specific color range. Okay, so you can see that this white color is something represented with the light pink and this is some light pink is with red and here you can see there is a bit orange yellowish shade. So it is converted with the orange. Okay, so this is the HSV image. Okay, so now let's talk about why we have converted this image into the HSV format and what is the benefit of converting this image into the HSV format, how it is useful in any computer vision machine learning project. Okay, so here you can see that each area is represented with some other color shades. Okay, so now let's consider that if you are just interested in the object which is just marked with this orange color. So in that case, what you can do, you can ignore the all rest color area and you can just extract this part of an orange color area or you can see that on my face there is a some dark blue and light blue color shade and I'm just interested in that portion of area then what I can do I can ignore the rest part and I can just focus on the face area by extracting this color range okay so mostly in computer vision projects we use this HSV image for the image masking so we can get the only area of our interest and then we do the processing the area of interest which we have extracted okay so how to use this HSV image for the image masking so that part we'll see in our next video okay so hope you got that how to convert our bgr image into the hsv image okay so hope you like this video if yes then hit on the like button subscribe to this channel to learn more about machine learning if you have any questions or doubt then just let me know into the comment box i'll try to get back to you stay safe stay happy see you in the next video